What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys part 12 for my playthrough on Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we completed our fifth and final Noble Pokemon, which was Avalug in the Alabaster Icelands. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing on with the end of the main story and doing the trials of the three lakes. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button and join the community. It seriously goes a long way. But for now, we're going to head to the field lands in the Obsidian field lands or the field lands camp in the Obsidian field lands and go head towards Lake. Is it Viridity up here? One of the lakes are over here. Let's see which one is. It, it is Verity. So Jeans was correct here. I should heal up my Pokemon if they're not healed. Might as well check. Our team is looking spiffy. Our team is looking beautiful. Do we have space in here? We do not. So you know what? Let me put some storage away. Let me do all that good stuff and see if we have a Leaf Stone as well. So I need a Leaf Stone to evolve my boy. Uh, to evolve my boy Voltorb. And of course, we do not have a Leaf Stone. That's looking whack. We have Dawn Stones. We have Fire Stones. We have pretty much every single stone besides Leaf Stone. That's whack. That is whack. But let me put some items away. Go down here. We do not need snowballs. More dawn stones, dust stones. We got them all. We got them all, baby. Put this grit dust away because that's really like a post game kind of thing. We'll put away his plump berries, this and wood. And then I think we should be thriving, right? Should be thriving. That's plenty of space. Oh, and this fire stone because we are not using it. We are not touching the fire stone. Um, and then I want to go to the craft. Table. That's where I want to go. I want to craft some pokeballs because you know the four pokeballs are merrier. We're gonna craft them. We're also gonna craft these on top of that. So beautiful love it actually let's craft 11 more cannot go wrong with 11 more do we need potions kind of need potions so you know let's rip, rip up five potions can we change them in here we can we can change four of them to that all right i'm with it all day cool so the team's stacked up we're looking good let's head to lake verity so like i said in today's video we're going to be doing the three trials we have to head to each lake and trigger mesprint as elf and Uxie in order to help us along with our mission so we're going to be doing that and then i think we're coming really really close to actually defeating the main story which we we should be doing uh some post game content First game, gonna be a lot of fun, so hopefully you guys do enjoy and stick around. But um, yeah, like I said, we only have like a couple more episodes of this left. So I think today's gonna be like a rather shorter one. Definitely shorter than probably an hour. Maybe we might uh go level up and do some stuff and things for grinding XP. But we should be done this these little quests in just a little bit. In just a tad bit. But you guys are probably wondering, yo, jeans, why are you walking around on foot? I need material, man. I definitely need some materials. So I'm gonna walk around on foot. I'm going to get some material as much as I possibly can because you guys saw I'm out of medicinal leaks. I'm out of pep up plants. I'm out of it all, but I'll definitely bring out my bird right here to make my way up on top of this, uh, this thing right here. So we can do that. We can do this. Oh, come on. You really couldn't get up there. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. We'll climb up there. And where's my rough one? We got to get him two levels today to evolve him into Hisui and uh, Braviary. Definitely got to get him two levels. So I'm going to be throwing him out up against a lot of these plants and stuff. Getting all my, my material because, you know, it adds up. That little 15s, little 15s, little 30s, they add up over time. But we got a bunch of luxuries over here. Yo, how you doing, luxuries? Yo, chill on me, yo. Chill on me. I'm just trying to get material, dude. I'm just trying to get material. Let me, let me be. Let me be. Let me be. Hey, hey. Yo, we hit my rough with You saw that. And I want this pep up plant. I want the pep up plant. So I ain't going to lie. There's two chilling here. We just used up the last of ours. So, you know, we'll grab it while we're here. And then we'll go ahead to our first lake for our first lake trial. So, there we go. Two pep up plants. Let's get it. Straight over to the lake. And this one should be... Is this one Mesprint? This one might be Mesprint. I honestly forget. This one might be Mesprint. But we're here. Let's head over here. And there should be an unknown right here. Yeah, there is an unknown right here. So, if you guys are looking for unknowns... Here is one of them. I am going to be releasing a guide on unknowns. That is the reason I'm not catching it. I want to save it for the guide. But... You guys look for unknowns there is one there and i will have a full guide on where to find every single unknown in the game in this upcoming week but there we go we make our way to like viridi over here and bolo and aridus here like aogs bring out your arc phone do your magic and then i'm just like yo, what is this i'm like yo who's this chick right here <laughs> who you been talking to who's this man you tell me you ain't talking to anybody who is this <laughs> and then i open up the lovely little cave the lovely cave i don't understand why i couldn't do this like pre-game but like before this, like why couldn't I just bring out my phone then? But we can enter the cavern in Lake Viridi <clears throat> and see our first legendary. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a little cough. She's a little congested, as you guys can tell. And in all these lakes right here, or in the little caverns, there's going to be some really, really cool Hisuian Alpha Pokemon. So I cannot wait to battle them. We're going to have to battle them, do some work up against them. It is just part of the trial. So we have to battle the Pokemon lurking in the cave. You know, I'm sending out my Cleaver right off the rip. Yo, Cleaver's got... Oh, I was like, why didn't the battle go out? Cleaver's got close combat. He's going to be able to do some big damage. But, yo, this might be the toughest Pokemon out of the three. This Pokemon is an absolute beast. Bulks up through pretty much everything. Has a, like, 
Little to no weaknesses. And it can one-shot pretty much everything. Level 58. He's going to go first. Oh, no. I have my cleaver out there to knock that thing out with a close combat. And that thing drops an iron tail. Get out of my face. Do we have anything? Look at this. Look, not very effective. 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 What is going on? All right. Typhlosion. I need you out here, sweetheart. Typhlosion. Let's get ripping it, dude. Let's get ripping. So we're going to go into... We could go into an early. It's going to be pretty good. Shadow Ball's not bad. There's this one's pretty good. Um, let me actually see this thing's stats. Can I see this thing's stats if I go to Pokemon? I want to see what's higher. His special attack or his physical attack? Oh, well, we're all special attack. Never mind. Don't even matter. Don't even matter. So, you know, we're just going to go straight for a Shadow Ball. Because we can. We have a chance of lowering his defense. So we'll go for a Shadow Ball. See if we can get that. That's not bad damage type version. He ends up going with a Shelter. God dang it, dude. <laughs> this thing's boosts his defensive stats. This thing is a beast. And he goes Obscured. That's pretty tough. That's pretty tough. We're going to look for a burn here. We're going to look for a burn. Burn would be your best bet. Chip up a little bit of damage. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. No, no burn. And this thing's ripping with Hydro Pump. Like I said, yo, these lake Pokemon are no joke. Especially Gujra. Yo, Gujra can legit just, like, steamroll your team. But we'll go into you here. I could just go drop Shadow Balls. Probably my play. This is my highest level. What level is he on? 58? He's got to be high. Yeah, 58. Got a lot of HP. Luckily, he is Ghost type. And I am going to go for an Agile Styles here. And then I think his defensive stats can drop and maybe we can go for a strong style and pick up the KO. Mm -mm, there's no way we're going to be able to pick up the KO, but I'll go for a regular shot here. Let's do him dirty here. Shadow Ball coming out here and we miss. Oh no, he's obscured. And we still miss though. Uh, that is ugly. What's he going to go for here? Dragon Pulse. Okay. Dragon Pulse we can soak up all day, baby. Agile, what's he going to go for now? Regular one. Okay. So he gets off his two turns. Hopefully his defensive stats drop. He's no longer obscured. Defense stats go away. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's go for an Agile now. And then we're going to go for a strong. Look for the big KO. But dude, Gujra's, Gujra's no joke, man. Gujra is no joke. Strong style should be able to take that out, right? End him. End him all day. Let's go. And this is why I brought you on the team, Basque Legion. You're an absolute menace. You're an absolute menace. He's the best. He is the best. He gets a crit, too. Good work, buddy. Good work. Good work, little buddy. <laughs> little buddy does work. Look how much XP we get. We got a good chunk there. Uh... What's called goes up to level 50. So we can now evolve Sligo into Hisuian Gudra, but it has to be rain. So that's the requirements for that Pokemon. It has to be level 50, and you have to evolve it in the rain. It's a little weird, but it is what it is. It is what it is. But we take out that Gudra. Lovely. Like I said, that one is probably the hardest out of the three. And Mesprint pokes out. Look at my girl. Complete the, Me the Mesprint trial in the Viridi Cavern. Hi, Mesprint. How you doing, girl? What's up, pretty girl? What up, mama? Your emotions. Share them with me. They're yours. So all these have like little puzzles in there. I think this one's really not that hard, but you have to figure out all the puzzles. So when you fell uh, to this land, what stirred in your heart? Surprise. <laughs> like this one's easy. This one you kind of just talked to her. But the other two are actually like kind of tricky and you actually have to think about it. How did you feel uh, to bond with Pokemon and work together? Uh, heartening. I felt heartening. I think you can click on whatever you want here, right? What did you feel when you mingled with the Hisuian clans? It's a wide world, man. I don't know. <laughs> it's a wide world. What did you feel when you cast out Team Galaxy? Uh, I felt better. I did feel better. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I felt a little bitter. <laughs> Take this piece of spirit to bind the world once more. So we complete the trial, and it gives me what we get from each of them. So we're going to grab ourselves a lovely... Dun, 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 dun. Mesprint's plume. Dup, dup, dup. Proof that you have completed the trial. So I get this thing. It's just proof that I completed the trial. So you have to complete all three trials. I think you bring it back to that that lady. Uh, what was her name? Cognito? Cognito? Something like that. Something along those lines who originally gave us this main mission to actually go on this trial and defeat this. It's mysterious, but I suppose when dealing with someone who fell from the sky, it's only natural to counter mystery. You know it, Arita. Let's head to our next trial. And the one whack thing is they don't heal up our Pokemon. They do not heal up our Pokemon. So I gotta do that on my own. I gotta do that on my own. We're gonna leave here. We're gonna head to, uh, I think we're gonna go to Crimson Mylands. That's where the next lake is. And in the meantime, we're gonna be catching some more Pokemon, traversing the lands, all that good stuff. Because you know, your boy's a big fan of just catching Pokemon and going from there. All right, let's do it. Well, though, leave me alone. I'm trying to do my stuff and things. Going to the Crimson Mylands, and we're catching, I think, as is next, right? I think Azelf is next. I think Azelf is Crimson Myland, and then the last one's going to be on uh, the lake in the uh, Alabaster Icelands, and that one will give us Ooxie. But he brings us all the way back here. I don't know why. Why can't you just let me just 
Go catch all three and go from there. It's whack. That is whack. But let me fix my microphone real quick. We got the mess Prince Plume. We're saying, like, hey, yo, we did it. We did it. And I think we're just trying to get that red chain over there. The red chain is used to actually uh, bring out Palkia and actually allow us to catch that Pokemon. It was absolutely amazing. Really, really good. But I do love post game in this because you can catch so many legendaries. Like, once you hit post game, they give you like six quests. Like, oh, catch this legendary, catch this one, catch this one, catch this one, catch this one. And it's super, super cool because you head to different areas and new little caverns open up where you can actually catch those Pokemon. But uh, we'll go here. We're all done with that. And she actually healed up her Pokemon. Thank you, Kagito. Kagito, I don't even know if that's her name. But we're going to head to the next one. Oh, we go to the Alabaster Islands first. To Lake Aquidity. Aquidity? Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. We're going to make our way over here. And I don't have any fast travel points. So I have one like into the middle of the place. But that's about it. Right? Oh, I don't even have one. Oh, no. I have one over here at the uh, Ice Peak Arena. So we'll head here. And we're going to get rolling. We are going to get moving. Like I said, we're probably going to take the Heel to Express. We could fly with the bird. But I'm looking for materials. I definitely need more materials for me. I feel like there should be something here, like a, like an unknown, right? On this arena, there should be something over here, right? You would think so. You would think, cause like it, you're coming back somewhere, you're like you're backtracking. I kind of want to see what's up here. Can we get up here? Oh no! But if you head down here, up, oh, nope, cannot go any farther. Cannot go any farther. What is down here? We got hot spring with, what is that? Machokes, Baneries, uh, Licket tongues in there. I found a Lucario in there before, which is really cool. But that was post game. It wasn't in this game. It might have been in this game when we were headed back. Might have been in this game. But we can head down here. I see Babiril. What else we got cooking down here? I want that shiny Tumblestone. I ain't even gonna lie. We are so low on Tumblestone. I'll take it all. I'll take it all. Come here. Where's my Rufflet at? Because like I said, I want to get some levels from Rufflet. Probably evolve him in today's episode too. Grab me that, uh... What is that? The Viva Choke? Viva Choke. And we'll get moving. Again. Is that a Sandler? That is a lovely little Sandler. How you doing, Sandler? How's your day going, little buddy? There should be another stone down here, right? Yep, another stone right here. That will toss, and we'll get moving up this pathway. And I don't think I ever took this pathway. I didn't know there was, like, steps for this. That was amazing, but we can make our way to level 53. Awesome, like I said, yo, the little bits add up. The little bits add up. Add up all day. There is a cave over there, right there. It's really cool. How do, why can't I stand up? There we go. There's a cave over there if you want to uh, break it open. There's a lot of rocks in there, shiny rocks. You got a bunch of stuff over there. But can I do? Can I like head up these steps? Like there's steps and they're not letting me step up. Can I catch you? Oh, no. Nope, you saw me. Get out of my face. I'm out of here. I'm dipping, baby. I'm dipping. Let's keep moving. Like I said, I want to head on foot to collect materials and see if we catch any new Pokemon for our Pokedex. Got a glass core. Can I hit this dude? Nope, dude. He sees me good. Dude sees me. I'm out of here. Keep on moving. Got an Apom over here. Which, I mean, I could catch the Apom. I could catch the Apom. Come here, Apom. I, I, dude, I, how did I hit him there? Okay, luckily he turned. I got him with a back shot. Give me that catch, yo. Glass leave me alone. There you go, catch your A-Pom. That's my lucky number seven on the A-Poms. Lucky number seven on the A-Poms. We are totally thriving with them. Uh, we'll head up here. I'm just going to burn it because I really do not see anything. But I see this tree right here. You know, I want that. What is that? Oh, that's a Sneasler. I do want a Sneasler. Oh, I threw the wrong Pokeball at it. <laughs> I threw the wrong Pokeball at this thing. Roughly, you get that. I'm going to see if we can catch a Sneasler. Do not see me. Oh, you son of a biscuit. Get out of my face. I'll kill you. Don't think I won't kill you. I'm out of here. I'm dipping. <laughs> I'm dipping. You're lucky we already have some Sneasers. We're going straight to the lake. What's that down there? What is that? Is that a Rufflet? Yeah, a bunch of Rufflets fly over here. Chinglings. Uh, if you look over the water, you probably see a bunch of Rufflets floating around here. Yeah, there's a Rufflet. Oh, well, actually, what is that? That's a Basculin. Basculin, Rufflets, pretty cool Pokemon. No Pokemon. And I think we already got a, a Bascu Basculin. Obviously, we do. I have a Basket Legion on my team. <laughs> We're making our way to the next league. We're going to be starting the next trial. And this one, I think this one's Ooxie, right? This one's Ooxie, but I just thought we went to the Crimson Islands first. Oh, we bring back out, back out our phone. We're like, hey, yo, who is this? You keep texting this guy and you're not telling me. <laughs> so, there we go. Open up the lovely little cave. And we can head on to the next trial. Like I said, the first trial... What well, wasn't too bad. It was just like a stronger Pokemon, which was Kuja. We're going to take out another Pokemon. But then they have a cool little puzzle, which you actually have to think about. The other one, it was easy. It was just like, yo, answer these questions. Hit whatever button you want, and you finish it. This one, you actually have to think about it and get rolling with it. So, look at that, yo. Hisuian Alpha Zoroak. Let's get ripping on this dude. You know who I'm going to lead here? We are going to get out. We get a Cleaver here. 
We can go Typhlosion here. Even though I think this thing can... Oh, dang, I overthrew that thing like crazy. Even though I think this thing can one-tap my Typhlosion, I hope my Typhlosion might be a bit faster and we get off a shot here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Go Typhlosion. Let's get it. Yo, toss that bad boy out there. Let's roll. Let's roll. What's he going to go? Do not hit me. Dang it. No shit, we're dead. <laughs> I was hoping I could just get a turn off, but this thing was all 58. It was all 58. I'm going to roll out with you, dude. You got super effective dark move. Let's do it. Let's do it. Even though he can still hit me hard, we're still going to go with that. Can I go with the agile stop first? Get off two turns? I cannot. No, we're, you know, we're just going to go for regular. See how much damage we can do. It's not stab, but we should have went for the strong shot. Strong shot would have killed him. Shadow Claw comes out here. And Basculi is just a tank, dude. He's too good. He's way too strong. He's way too strong, yo. He's going to carry us to victory. Boys of Beast, because when we caught him, he was like 10 levels ahead of everybody else. We get the single level 59. Voltorb also gets a level. That is just mwah. it is just beautiful. It is just beautiful. Very mysterious presence. Come here, Uxie. Be my friend. Uxie looks so sick though. Uxie looks tough. Alright, so we have to complete the trial in acuity in the acuity. Acuity Cavern. Come, I will test your knowledge. Let's hear it, girl. What you got for me, mamas? Combi Zubat Unknown Magneton Dusclops. How ma how many are there eyes? So combi I gotta get the order again. Can you repeat it? I gotta get the order again. So combi. So it's a code. You have to figure out how many eyes each of these Pokemon have. So combi, there's three there's three little combs with two eyes each, so that's six. Zubat, I learned this from my stream. It has no eyes. That's crazy. Zero, one for unknown. Magneton has three, and Dusclops has one. So it's gonna be six for Combi, zero for Zubat, one for unknown, three for Magneton, one for Dusclops. So, without saying the names, it's gonna be six, zero, one, three, one. Six, zero, one, three, one. Six, zero, one, three, one. Let me get it. Let me get it. Answer me. I'm ready to answer. Six, zero. Uno, Trace. Uno. Dang. 60131, baby. Lock it in. For the win. If you get it wrong, she's going to ask you. You have to keep going until you get it right. And yep, we got it right. She did her little dance. She did a little meow meow. <laughs> did a little dance. She gives us her little plume. Is this called Uxie's plume? Uxie's claw. Her lovely little claw. Proof that you uh, got the knowledge at Lake Acuity. 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 Whatever you want. Whatever you want to call it. But two out of the three lakes done. Beautiful genes. Absolutely ripping into it. Our Typhlosion did faint, but we'll heal it up when we go to our next trial. And we have one more left. We're going to go ahead to the third lake. Go get ourselves Azel. Lovely little Azel. Hopefully they don't send me back to Kagita. I really just want to uh, just go on my own. Really just want to go on my own. Yeah, but I believe when you get all three of them, they will give you the red chain. And the red chain is needed to kind of like take back the power of the sky and go get Palkia. Palkia is where it's at. Well, in our case, we get the red chain because we chose the Pearl Clan. Before all this, we had the choice to go either Diamond Clan or Pearl Clan. Your boy chose to go with the Pearl Clan because I wanted Palkia. I really do like Palkia, but spoiler alert, you guys get both. You will get both Pokemon. So don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about picking a clan. You guys are, you guys are chilling. You guys are chilling with it. You guys chilling. If I really did spoil a lot of things for you guys with that one, definitely yell at me in the comment section down below. <laughs> but two out of three done. We come back, talk to her. And the only good part is she heals up my lovely Typhlosion. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Oh, yo, he's staring at me. He's like, yeah, yo, Gene, let me die there. <laughs> How you gonna let me die there? I'm your starter, man. I'm your starter. All right, let's roll. To the last lake, to the Crimson Mire Lands. Love this place. I really do like this place, especially when it's not raining. But the only problem with Evolving Sligo here is... That it doesn't rain with this weather. I think weather is always neutral. So we have to head over to this whole other spot. Where is it? All the way up to Lake Valor. But I want to catch this Badoo because, you know, I see this Badoo. And I, I kind of want him. I don't know why I want these Badoos, but I want the Badoos. Come here, Badoo. Thank you, Badoo. Go to this Badoo. Badoo, come here. Come here. Because if we catch one more, it will go towards the Pokedex. Thank you very much, Badoo. Where's my boy Ruffle at? Ruffle. There you go. Get some longest, man. You know, catching Badoos all day, baby. All day. And they, of course, the gas is just spawning once I want to, uh, once I want to, uh, fast travel out of here. But, you know, I can definitely do this. I do this and just keep going this way. 
up until we are not spotted anymore, which is now. And now, you know, I can hit this and I can go to the diamond settlement. A lovely little diamond settlement. And now we can head towards Lake Valor. But I actually want to go back here just for a second. See if there's any cool Pokemon cooking over here. <clears throat> Got some Zubats. Want these Betties. Very good. Very good. And nothing really cooking over here. All right. Let's go. Let's get a move on here. I'll show you guys where another unknown is. Um, it should be over here, right? Where yeah, And there it is. See it on, right on top of this house? He's just chilling there. Let me actually dip down a little bit. See him right here? Right below me. Right there, dude. Little unknown just chilling there. If you guys are looking for some more unknowns, he's there. He's hanging out there. There's two for you guys on the day. There might be another one behind this lake, but what Pokemon do we have floating in this lake? I always like to check. What is that? Wish Cash? Okay, cool little Wish Cash. Gotta love it. Anything behind here? Anything chilling here? Not that I see. Not that I see. Okay, so we'll keep flying here. It is nighttime, so you know you get less spawns, but... I want to go do this. Oh, there's a satchel. I need them. <laughs> Collect satchel gives you MP, which you can cash in for points or uh, for rewards back in uh, Jubilee Village. And they also give you items when you go into your lost and found in your menu. <coughs> there we go. Our phone's beeping yet again. We point it straight to the game. Let's get rocking with the final trial. And I forget who the last Pokemon we burst. We burst Hisuian Zoruk. We burst Hisuian Gudra. The last one is... Who is it? I can't even think about it. I'm trying to think of all the Hisuian Pokemon. Um, hold up. I want to guess this before, before we even go. It's not Arcanine. It's not Sneasler. It's not Lil Gint. It's not Ursaluna. It's not Zororo. It's not Gujar. Who's the last Hisuian forms? It's not Electrode. It's not Basque Legion. It's, it's the one I'm, I can't think of. One more. Guess we're going to say who it is. Who is it? Can I think of it? Why can't I think of it? Quillfish. That's who it is. I was gonna say it's a it's a Pokemon that we haven't versed in noble form yet. Because as you guys can tell, every single Hisuian Pokemon we verse in noble form or in a battle like this. I could not think of the last one. We're gonna hop right into this one. We're gonna get after it with my Typhlosion. Hisuian Quillfish, which is actually it's actually a brand new second stage, which is over cool. It's really, really cool. I was going to add it to my team. It is Poison and Dark, I believe. So it has really cool typing to it. Really great typing to it. I feel like all of his suing forms have amazing typing to it, Which are very resistant to Pokemon. You can go for Poison Jab. Hey, I'm chill on me, dog. Do not poison me. Why? Why? Why you got to poison me like that? Why you got to do me dirty like that? Um, I guess we'll just go for a Wave Crash here. Oh, we get two turns here. That's lovely. I think this thing's got to be bulky, right? Only if there was abilities. Like, this thing would have, like, a mean ability. Like, uh... Like, iron barbs, but, like, better, you know? Because, like, imagine hitting this thing with a physical attack. You're just getting stabbed. You were just getting stabbed. I ain't even kidding. You were just getting stabbed. Poison is taken away with me. Or he would be, like, poison touch, where any anytime, anyone's, anytime someone touches him, you're gonna die to poison damage. But, my boy basically is just gonna drop down here. Um, I could pull out my top version here. So, let's pull out my top version. I'm gonna drop an overheat. I'm gonna drop a strong style overheat and finish this thing off all day, right? Look at that, 130 base power? Come on, man. 130 is huge. Take him out. Bop. Later, Overquill. Later. Like I said, all of them are pretty easy except for the Kudra. Because Kudra hits like a truck, has great move coverage, alongside with his resisting of pretty much every single type. Of he resists so much. It's super, super strong. Super, super strong. Except for like fighting and. But other than that, he rips through. He just, he just gets after it. He just gets after it. But there it is. Defeat the third noble, or not noble Pokemon, third Alpha Hisuian Pokemon. And our third Lake Legendary or Lake Mythical Pokemon is going to spawn here. Which is going to be Azelf. And Azelf's super cool. I dig him. He's going to give us bombs, and we have to throw bombs at him. And this one's kind of annoying. I mean, it's kind of annoying. We have to hit Azelf with the bombs. And every time we throw him at him, he's going to dip away. What we have to do is just keep doing this. Keep throwing bombs at him. Where the heck are you? There. And here. And we'll keep trying to throw bombs at him. What's he going to say? He's going to look at us. He's going to be like, wah, 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 wah. You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? I'm not through with it yet. So you have to constantly keep saying, yo, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to do this. Blah, 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 blah. Have some moral with yourself. Tell yourself you're not going to give up. And you're just going to constantly throw these bombs at this as up because he's just gonna keep dipping them until like trials over so it does take a little bit but 
It's rather annoying. I remember when I did this my first time, I was sitting there, I was just like, yo, like, can I, should I stop? Like, this is just not working. Do I have to do something else? Because like I said, he's going to constantly stop and be like, hey, yo, are you done yet? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? You have to just keep being like, nah, yo, I want to keep going. Ba 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 da da. Where do you go? Where do you go? There he is. Hello. Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke him with this one. Trick shot. Oh, oh, oh. Which way am I going? Which way am I going? <laughs> Could you imagine I smoked him and just broke the game? That one went through him. That's whack. That one went through him. And he's gonna do it again. And am I done with it or do I have to do it again? I think I have to be like, yo, I'm not through with you yet. <laughs> nope. I'm not done with you yet, dude. What did I tell you? What I tell you, get over here. Get over here. Yo, there we go. Throw one last one at him. And now he's happy. He's like, yo, you haven't given up. Here's my blessing. You did it, dude. You did it. So there it is, guys. All three lake trials completed beautifully. I love it. We got the Azel Fang. So we got the Uxie Call, Azel Fang, and the Mesprint Plume. So now we can catch these in with the little dogs right here. And get ourselves the lovely red chain. So we out of here. Where am I at? Where am I going? Uh, where's the exit? There it is. <laughs> I was looking for it. I was like, bro, where's the exit at? Where is the exit? But you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content, if you guys are enjoying today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like on today's video. It really does go a long way. And if you guys want to catch extra content from me, um, make sure you guys scroll down a little bit. Go into that description. There's a link down in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Name is right on the face cam too. Hit that follow button. Turn on those notifications so you know when I go live. I love seeing you guys pop out to the streams. It's awesome. It's awesome. So if you guys see me live, feel free to pop in the chat. Say what's up. I love to talk to you guys. But we head over to these ruins. These ruins. I don't even know where these are at in the game. To be honest. Crimson Mirelands. Oh, no. I know exactly where these are. These are where we did the Noble Pokemon fight. Somewhere over here. And Kakita's like, hey, yo. You got all mess print. You got all the blessings. Pull them out. Show them to me. And your little buddies will actually come here. Which I kind of do like this cutscene right here. I really do like this cutscene. Any time in any time in pro games, I love when these three Pokemon pop out. They're so sick. Look at them. Just hanging out. My dudes. What's up? The Pokemon of the lakes. Yes, sir. Run it up. Run it up. Run it up. Hey, hey. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. And they give me the red chain, which is what we oh so desire. You received the red chain. Now my people are like, yo, I'm out of here, jeans. Thanks for hanging out. There you go. <laughs> so we get the red chain, and we're pretty much almost done with the main story. We just have to head to the top of the mountain and complete it. We're like almost at the credits. We might have to uh we might be doing credits in the next episode, which could be awesome. Which could be great. Let's see. Let's see where he tells us to go afterwards. Might be one more episode for main story, but we definitely should be doing post-game stuff for this. At least doing post game story stuff. And of course, we're always going to have be having guides on this game. I got to start uploading more guides. We have an XP guide coming out, which actually, it should be out before or, yeah, before this video even goes live. So it's probably out already. And then uh, I'm going to do unknown guides. I'm going to do, uh, what other guys? Shiny guides. I'm going to do alpha guides. I'm going to do rare Pokemon guides. All that different cool stuff for this game because there's so much information to actually get in this game. So we definitely have a bunch of guides coming to you guys' way. Welcome back. Hi, Kari. How you doing, sweetheart? How are you doing? Yeah, yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh, my dear jeans. Oh, we, we're allowed back in the village. I just noticed that. We are allowed back in the village. Was it last episode we got kicked out? It was like, hey, yo, they kicked us out. They thought we were causing all the problems, and they booted us for no reason. After we did all the work, after we did everything for this community, they just kicked us out no problem. All right, so you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. No, you kicked me out. Don't, 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 don't try to be on my side. What are you doing? So I'm telling her, I'm like, hey, yo, I visited Three Lakes. Go on. And I got this. Red chain, yo. This red chain, I got it. It's a legendary tool. Yeah, I got it. Not you guys. I've been doing everything. So now we have to head to the Space Rift. Is that what it's called? I think she just called this order Space Time Rift, which has been lurking over Mount Cornette this whole time. Ever since we hopped onto the island, there's been a rift in the sky. So she's like, hey, yo, take that, take that red chain up to Mount Coronet. And that is pretty much the last thing in our mission. That's pretty much the last thing we have to do for this mission. Dope, dope, dope. Dope, dope, dope. If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should have not left me here in charge. 
Thank you, Silene. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, dope. Dope, dope, dope. So our next mission is to head to Mount Cornette. And yo, dude, my Lucario is chilling here. <laughs> our next mission is to head to Mount Cornette. And, but before we do that, I'm actually going to go start head, heading over here and leveling up my Pokemon. Because there's a great way to actually level up Pokemon here. You can actually spend gold right here by buying XP candies. Here are the MPs I was talking about. If you want to buy stuff with MP, with your satchels, you can come here. But I don't think I have any uh, MP. 82. So you can buy Leaf Stones. You can do all that. You got trade items, you got evolution items in here, rare candies. But up here, you can actually go to the training grounds and level up your Pokemon. But before I do that, I got a few satchels, so I want to head in here, go to my lost and found, and actually collect them. We can collect all these. Oh, XP candies, baby. We get some goodies here. We get some goodies. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got cooking. Let's go over here. We got a few good items, I believe. It's my everyday items. I'm going to go here and then go to my... Now, those are key items. I want to go to my everyday over here and i guess where did those uh i guess they went straight to my box those xp candies but you make your way to the training grounds over here you can just talk to my boy and go right here and he's like hey yo would you like to battle and you can legit battle any of these guys and you just get a lot of xp this is actually one of the best ways to farm up xp in this game head to training grounds battle up on some pokemon easy easy levels easy levels all day now we're gonna challenge security corp went in to a battle so bad is gonna throw out a multi mason, multi majority on Adagash. So we're gonna fight all three of these guys and we're gonna rip it up and we're just gonna grab XP. And I'm kind of upset that uh, we have Basket Legion out here, but it is what it is. It happens like that. Go straight into a Shadow Ball. See if we can take him out one shot. I don't think we can. We cannot. We cannot. But whenever Pokemon you have out on the field will get double XP than everybody else. You get about 3,000. It's really, really good. So I'm gonna battle this just so my. Uh, just so my Ruffle gets an evolution. Like I said, levels are going to be great. We're going to be going up against some very hard Pokemon in the upcoming next mission. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And every time you, you defeat this guy, your Pokemon go back to you. Which is awesome. It's really, really cool. So we're going to do that. Uh, I could bring out Ruffle, but I just think like Typhlosion is a great call here. Bring out my boy Typhlosion. Actually, why would I bring out Typhlosion? I should have brought out my Voltorb because he does have uh, Gastron, like I said. He's going to outspeed me again. And geez, yo, do some big old damage. Should be able to go for like an agile shot here and get two turns. I can indeed. I can indeed. I go for an agile shot here. Shadow Ball's gonna poke. Yeah. And do that amount of damage. And then a regular Shadow Ball. Should be able to finish the problem. The beautiful. This thing goes down. Drop him out here. And hopefully. Probably not. Castron's gonna hop out here and go first, right? And take me out. Right, so now my top version gets nothing. There goes Sludge Bomb. Actually, ooh. Just not take me out. That's not gonna do anything. We could go for an infernal blade, but we'll just go for this. I could I could have hard swap, but it'd be like that sometimes. Hopefully, maybe he'll miss or something. Let's so come eat that one up. Nah, we cannot. And I'm gonna bring out Ruffwood here, yo. Ruffwood's gonna get all this XP, and that's ex exactly who we want to get the XP. It's gonna be Ruffwood. So we'll take this thing out. We are gonna get rolling. I want to this Pokemon so bad. It's so sick. And we'll go for Brave Bird. Brave Bird coming in hot, baby. Dude, Ruffwood hits hard. He hits hard. Look at that, dude. He hits hard. Dude, dude plays no games. You can go for Sludge Bomb. We should be able to eat that up, right? Lovely Rufflet. We'll just go for a nice, lovely Air Slash. We'll say GG's. The Rufflet takes him out. All my Pokemon are going to go back up to max health, which is perfect. And we're going to gather all this XP. Gather it all, baby. But the thing is, Maltham is always first Pokemon. It's always first Pokemon. Which really you are simply unstoppable. Look at that XP, baby. Look at that XP. Just free XP. It's one of the best ways to actually grind XP in this game. So we're going to go back to Ingo here. And what I actually want to do before I go to Ingo is I can switch my front Pokemon. So I want to switch to Typhlosion because I know Maltham is going to be the top guy. So we're going to face off against that same guy. So if you have a strong enough Pokemon, you can legit sit here for hours and keep matching. There's a Pokemon that can one-tap all these dudes. So like post-game, when you have like legendaries, it works super, super well. Just level up Pokemon in your party. So he's going to send out Maltham yet again. Lovely little Maltham. And we're going to throw out my lovely Typhoon. Like I said, I just want to do this a couple times up until we uh, evolve our Braviary. Or our Ruffle into it. Drop a nice level flamethrower. We'll say bye-bye, Moth. Get out of my game. Get him out of here, dude. Boy, yo, looking spiffy. I love me some Hisuian Typhoon. He just looks so good. We're going to throw out Gash down for a second, but get out of my face here. Sludge Bomb's going to poke here. We're able to soak. What is it? Oh, why you got to get a poison on me, though? I gotta get a poison on me though. That's whack. Shadow Ball's gonna poke it. Give me a defense drop here. No defense drop. Get out of my face, dude. That's why I'm gonna poke out here again. 
And do I just go for strong style here? You know, yeah, we're killing this thing with strong style. That foot is gonna get no XP, but it's fine. It's all 55. He does some work. He does some good work here. Nope. Later, Gastro. He's gonna throw out his lovely little uh Jolteon, and we're gonna go down here. And I was gonna say we throw out Ruffler, but the Jolteon will just rip up and do it. You know, I'd rather get some XP for our lovely Ruffler. So cool. We take that, or he takes me out, and now I can go into Go into Sligu. Sligu wouldn't be bad, but Cleaver's my dude. Cleaver hits so hard. Cannot go wrong with this dude. He's one of my favorite pickups on the team. We go straight for a stone axe here. Little stab move. Get the splinters in him too. Look at that damage. God dang. You get a crit. Splinter's going to dig into him. He's going to hit me with a double edge, which was stupid. We soaked that up. And then Splinter's just going to take him out. GG's. Give me my XP. Free XP all day, baby. All day. Battle decided. Battle decided. Oh, I should be like a Smash Bros. guy. Can I be a Smash Bros. guy? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> yeah, I can do all the characters, man. My favorite one's Jigglypuff, though. He's like, Jigglypuff. <laughs> I love just like clicking on the names in Smash Bros. And just having the dude like announce them all. Mr. Game and Watch. <laughs> but no, no. Best one is definitely Bowser Jr. He's like, Bowser. <laughs> Does the junior all subtle? Just cannot beat it. But we're gonna do this one more time. We should get enough XP to actually evolve our Braviary. If not, we'll get it on the pathway because he should be very, very close. Or I should have some XP candy. So let's shop a nice lovely flamethrower. Kind of 60 on my boy Ty Fusion over here. Ain't getting no XP. Just chilling here. And then throwing out Gastron on me. But hopefully, as long as he doesn't get a poison here, we should be fine. Losing the Gastron. Oh, yes. Earth. Why hasn't he been using that? It's just gonna dump on me. Just dumps on me. And we're going to bring out our lovely little uh, Hisuian Voltorb. You can just rip right into this thing. Easy, no problem. One shot at all. Energy ball. Four times super effective. Wheel. Oh, we didn't one shot it. Get out of my face. And this thing's pumping. I'm going to stand in that. I kind of, I was so tempted to stand in that. <laughs> we'll go for an energy ball here. Wheel. We'll drop out that Gaston, and we are thriving. I'm hoping I can get out my Ruffle. I really want to try to get out my Ruffle, but I think we just play it safe here. There's no way I can bring out my Ruffle up against this Jolteon. He Thunderbolts me. We're dead here, right? Yeah. Like, I really want to go in the Ruffle here, but it's just like, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. We'll go in the Cleaver, and we'll rip up with a uh, Strong Style x scissor here. Should be able to pick up the KO, right? Strong Style x Skizzy, dude. I love this move. Look at that. Feel? Dude, the animations are so sick in this game. Critical hit. We say bye bye, Jolteon, and we'll take our XP with us. I don't think uh, Braviary, or not Braviary, I don't think Rufflet is going to get that up, uh, enough XP to evolve, but he's going to be super, super close. So we'll just get it on the journey there. Let's see. Oh, we did. Let's go. My boy has a master move and he can evolve, which is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So let's go in here. We can decide. Hey, yo. Evolve, my dude. Ruffle trade evolved. Do I want to do it? Heck yeah. We get one of the newest, coolest Pokemon in the game. In the game. Hisuian Braviary. Super, super cool. Psychic and flying. Definitely one of the coolest Pokemon. Like, once I saw this Pokemon, I was just like, yeah, I want it. I absolutely love the team that we decided to go with. A bunch of cool Hisuian Pokemon with a lot of cool different Pokemon on the team. Look at that, dude. Typhlosion, Cleaver, Bash Collegian, Braviary, Gudra, and Hisuian Electro. That is awesome. That is awesome. But there we go, guys. Did pretty much everything I wanted to do in today's video. Before we end off, we're going to head to, uh, what is it, the Highlands? And we're going to get after it that way. But we're going to fast travel to the front gate. And uh, we're just going to be here. And do I have to do anything? I think I might have to battle uh, Akari one more time. Do I battle Akari one more time? I'm almost positive I do. Let me see this. I think Akari is just like, hey, yo, let me battle you. But well, we have this little girl over here and this guy, and it's actually a pretty cool scene. So before we leave, we have this little, this little, little lady over here. She's like, Ayo Jeans, thank you for saving us. Thank you for doing all that. Take this item. She gives me a lovely Max Revive to take on my mission, which is great. Because, you know, we're probably going to need it. We're probably going to get dumped on by a few Pokemon. And then she dips away all scared. And the dad's just like, Ayo, get back over here. And they go. So there we go. Get all that done. We're going to go head to the summit camp over in the, uh, what is it? The bu 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 bu, the Coronet Highlands. That's where we want to go to. And she just brings us there. Okay. We don't even have to fast travel to it. Once we, once we head there, she's like, hey, yo, you're, you're, we're forcing you to come here. 
She brings us to the exact spot that we want to go to, and all we have to do now is travel up to the top of the mountain and go right into the coronet uh, ruins, I guess. But it, there's like a ruined kind of pathway to take you to the top of Mount Coronet. He gives us a max potion. Thank you, thank you, Bolo. You're such a nice guy. And there's the rift. So that's exactly where we got to head to. But we're going to be tackling that on in the next episode. Do Bolo. Let me go. Let me go. I'm recording a video, man. Let, let me do my thing. I got I to gotta finish up the episode. <laughs> I got to finish up the episode. My other girl over here. What's her name? Armada? Is that her name? It's Melly. Who's Armada? Armada's the, di the Diamond Clan. This is Mally over here. How you doing, lady? She's gonna give us a little words of advice, and we get our last mission to head to the Mount Cornet Peak in pursuit of Commander Kamada. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're gonna be taking on the final mission and probably finishing up the main story. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.